When we think of the largest, most fearsome felines, our minds drift to the lions of the Serengeti or the tigers of Siberia. But for hundreds of thousands of years, the true feline monarch, the biggest cat that ever lived, roamed a world of ice, towering glaciers, and frozen plains. This ultimate apex predator was not African. It was distinctly American. This was Panthera atrox, the American lion, a beast so colossal that it outsized its modern cousins by up to 25%. It ruled the vast, open North American steppe, facing down mammoths, bison, and the fiercest rival predators imaginable. Its story is one of unrivaled power, rapid adaptation, and a mysterious final vanishing act. The American lion existed from about 340,000 years ago until the end of the last ice age, around 11,000 years ago. Scientifically, it is known as Panthera atrox, which literally translates to atrocious panther or cruel panther, a name befitting its reputation. Though often referred to as a subspecies of the Africa lion, Panthera atrox is now widely recognized as a distinct species, representing the final, largest evolution of the cat lineage. This was a true mega-cat. While modern lions weigh up to 550 pounds, the American lion could easily reach weights exceeding 800 pounds and stretch nearly 12 feet from nose to tail. Based on skeletal remains, scientists estimate it was up to 25% larger than even the enormous cave lion of Eurasia. It wasn't just a big cat, it was a power-packed creature of immense muscle and scale, built to tackle the largest prey on the continent. Much of what we know about Panthera atrox comes from remarkable fossil discoveries across North and South America, with the largest concentration unearthed in the La Brea Tar Pits of California. These asphalt pits preserved the remains of thousands of Ice Age creatures, capturing a detailed snapshot of the American lion's world and its contemporaries. Unlike its modern African cousin, which inhabits brushland and sparse forest, the American lion was primarily a creature of the open plains, dominating the vast, treeless mammoth steppe. This environment demanded a different set of skills and a different physique. The American lion was built for movement. Its limbs were notably longer and more slender than those of the African lion, suggesting superior speed and endurance. While Smilodon, its famous contemporary, was built for a quick, brutal ambush, the American lion was designed to cover large distances, possibly chasing down Ice Age bison, camels, and horses across the vast open plains. Fossils provide clues about its appearance and social life. Given the open, cold environment and the lack of fossil evidence suggesting large communal burials, it's believed the American lion was less reliant on a social pride structure than its African counterpart. It may have hunted alone or in small family units, and reconstructions often depict it with a minimal or absent mane, favoring a thick, uniform coat for camouflage in the dry, pale grasslands. Its strategy was one of pure feline efficiency, speed, power, and the ability to operate across immense territories to secure its dominance. The American lion was the undisputed feline king of its time, but it was far from alone. It existed within one of the most competitive predator guilds in Earth's history, constantly battling for resources with three colossal rivals. First was Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat. The two giants shared much of the same territory and prey. The American lion relied on a powerful, crushing bite, delivered with a strong neck and robust jaws. Smilodon relied on specialized fangs, designed for a deep, precise slice to the throat or belly. 
the American lion may have been faster and more capable of scavenging kills from its less mobile saber-tooth competitor. Next, the dire wolf. These were formidable canids, larger and stronger than any wolf today, hunting in large packs. The American lion would have had to aggressively defend its kills against these organized, persistent scavengers. And finally, the colossal, giant, short-faced bear. This gigantic omnivore was a terrifying force, capable of chasing the American lion off a kill simply through intimidation and immense size. Surviving the Ice Age required the American lion to be constantly vigilant, a master of both the hunt and the fight. For hundreds of thousands of years, the American lion was a dominant, successful predator. But around 11,000 years ago, as the Pleistocene epoch drew to a close, this great cat, along with nearly all of North America's megafauna, vanished. The reasons for this massive die-off are complex and still debated, but they center on two primary forces. The first was rapid climate change. As global temperatures rose, the vast, open mammoth steppe began to shrink, replaced by dense forests and changing grassland habitats. This dramatically altered the ecosystem, leading to the decline of the large herbivores, the bison, horses, and camels, that formed the lion's primary food source. The second, and perhaps decisive factor, was the arrival and proliferation of Homo sapiens. Early human hunters were incredibly efficient, utilizing cooperative strategies and sophisticated tools. Humans targeted the same large prey as the American lion, leading to direct competition for resources. Though the American lion was never successfully domesticated, their simultaneous disappearance from the fossil record is a poignant reminder of humanity's growing power as the ultimate apex predator. The American lion, Panthera atrox, was a marvel of evolution, the ultimate feline answer to the harsh demands of the Ice Age. Its story is a profound chapter in the history of life, illustrating how even the mightiest rulers can be humbled by a changing world and a new, more adaptable competitor. Its legacy lives on in the magnificent fossils that tell its story, ensuring that the colossal king of the Ice Age steppe is never truly forgotten. What do you think was the American line's greatest advantage over the Smilodon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you're ready for more incredible journeys into Earth's astonishing prehistoric past, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Terra Time Capsules, and hit that notification bell so you never miss our next adventure. Keep exploring the grand, wild history of our planet with us.